Hey, welcome back live, guys. It's been a while, over a week or two since I did my last video. Lacey, Rick, I hope you're out there. You know, my wife's in the front room right now. I haven't been on for a while. I was supposed to make the bed video. I'm going to do it tonight for sure. Because my wife was real sick at first. And she started off the sore throat, come back no strep, come in with bronch, you know, sinusitis and upper respiratory infection and all that. So that's why I was delayed a week or two on this bed making video, which I do apologize. But this video here is going to be T9 or T8, T9 tamper proof little screwdrivers I bought from eBay. They're 95 cents a piece. They finally got here. Hey, Lacey. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, boo, there's the ghost behind you. Yeah, she's always pulling jokes on me. We're always doing that. But I'm going to make this video in two and one. And then I got one more coming out tonight. It's going to be a single one, but this is going to be a double whammy. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been on for a while, but she was sick. And in case she had to, you know, speak or do anything on the bed, you know, she could what, lose her voice and, you know, her throat was really hurting. So she had to take off syrup and all that good crap to get rid of some of this. And a couple, you know, two, three trips to the damn ER to find out what the hell was going on. But I'm going to do the T8, T9 tamper proof little screwdrivers first. Then I'm going to show you this little socket repair I did. Rich disagreed on this, but I had no other choice. And I'll tell you why and show you why, guys. Rick, you're not on here. You'll see the video later. I'm trying to get two and one done because to carry out where I get my cigarette tobacco out closes around 10 i want to get these two done because tonight's movie night for me and my wife we're watching you know friday 13th and stuff so because it's halloween coming up we do this every year and i don't want any phone calls or text messages or anybody using their phones you know why i'm on there especially on youtube or anything like that because the sound goes over top of the tv so i'll show you these first I'll show you, they're completely good. I'll just show you one little complaint about them. That's it. Nothing more. Oh, but it come, took over a month to get here, you know. And I didn't know you could buy these in the U.S. until I did a little bit of research, and you could. But these are the T8 and T9 screwdrivers. Right there, as you see. They got a nice handle on them, as you can tell. The only thing I'm going to show you on these is I wish they had a branding hair like and paint or something branded where they were T8, T9, but they don't, and they're tamper-proof. There's a light in the curtain. Huh. That could be my shop light or, uh, yeah, there's lights that's showing through from outside and from Men here, so it's probably reflections too. The only little complaint I got, and it's hard to show you in film, the branding is right here, and you can't see it. It's one's T9, one's T8. The only way you'll see that is under a bright, bright, super bright shop light, like what I've got, flashlight or a magnifying glass. Um, but they are good, and the reason why they got these black tips, they got a little dipple in here. What these are known for is for like Xbox 360s, video game consoles, controllers, table and part, you know, them special screws. But these could be used for other shit too. It's electronical. And before you ask, yes, they're magnetized, and I will prove it. Here's a screw, as you can tell. We'll take this one, put up my hand. See, right like that, magnetized. Damn it, dropped it. Magnetized. Oh, but these, I think, are really good. They feel, you know, not cheap or nothing. They feel professional kind. I mean, I could bought them in the U.S. You could buy them up to T10, but I already have a T10 tamper purse. But I want these, you know, because my... Uh, tamper proof that I showed you with them bits in it, them three, two and a half, three inch bits I bought. Um, oh, hey, caramel frappe, love you, baby. It's my cat. But 
I want to add these to that collection. But the reason why I'm coming live to you now, uh, I, I'm going to do a socket repair video. Now, I bought some axle nut sockets off of eBay. They're a half inch drive, impact resistant, ready to go. Well, I was reading reviews on them. They had them pretty good, about three and a half, five star review. And one guy said when he got them, the square end of them where you put them on a the ratchet would not fit all the way. Some would go on real super tight. Some would not go on at all. And you want them fully seated. Rich is going to disagree with me on this because he'll say, oh, they're going to cause rust and all that, but how in the hell are you supposed to get them on there? Because Lacey will tell you, and I showed her, hope Mr. Creepy don't show up on you while you're on YouTube. I hope not because we got a ghost back here. It's an evil fucker. It lives back here in the shop. Um, And he hates women and shit like that, yes. But anyhow, I had no other choice but to fix these. Because, and how I knew which ones were not done right, and how which ones were done right, is because I tried them first, and I took some masking tape, put around the ones I didn't have to repair. The ones I did have to repair, I didn't put tape around. But I'll show you something. Let me get my ratchet out here. And I did, I did, this was an updated video. On these sockets I bought, you can check them out on my other YouTube channel, you know, my YouTube channel here. But, like some of these here, these are just the ones I showed you on my video a while back ago when I first got them. They would only go on like this. You had to keep going like this with a freaking block of wood to get them on. Now look. And you're probably wondering how I did it. There's a goddamn trick to it. Like this one here, as you can see, I had to grind it inside. I had no other choice. I'll tell you how I did it. There's a little trick behind it. Before this one here, I'd lay it down, use a block, heavy block of wood off of an old bunk bed, and just keep banging the hell out of it till I got it. Now, look. And you can't have a damn socket to go on like this, or even like that part way. You got to have. Fully seated. See? Fully seated. And I'll tell you how to fix them. And all I did was took the band of tape on the ones that didn't have to repair and put a tape around all the ones. I think maybe like four or five of them. There's a head shape on the ceiling between the two fan blade shadow. Yeah, it could be Mr. Creepy, hon. But look, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Hear it click? Before you didn't hear that. They were like this. <clears throat> kind of thing. Now look. And I'll show you the little way to do those. And it will not hurt nothing. Don't let nobody tell you any damn different. Because if you don't do it the way I tell you, they're lying to you and they don't know shit about tools. And I did machining and shit and I know what I'm talking about. I'll show you what to use. And you can check out my updated video on this. It's my Hyper Tough Dremel Tool Light. My wife got me at Walmart. And I bought some of these, you know, cutting wheel desk extras. Never know when you're going to need them. But I got this when I did the Hyper Tough Dremel Tool. I'll show you exactly what the fuck I used. Well, I did have to use a rat tail file for a couple parts of them to go like this. Get it down there, but I'd use that. All the rest of them were simple, just a couple grinds on this grinding wheel, and two of them out of all of them was a bitch. I had to throw the damn thing almost up on high speed. The two wheels I used was one of these red ones, like this, as you could tell. And one of these. I use this for most of everything. But those couple was really bitch. I'd use that and a file, then top it off with one of those. 
He will tell you, oh, them won't work. Bullshit, they won't. They will too work, because I had to. Because the set I got down there is really good from eBay, really nice. But anytime when a damn socket says half inch and it don't fit on a breaker bar nor a ratchet, it only says part way or won't even get past that ball bearing, you know they put too much metal on that and possibly too much the enamel paint, whatever they coated them with, the coating. So that's why I made that little tutorial video just on those little screwdrivers I bought. 95 cents plus free shipping on each one, which wasn't bad. And I wanted to do an update repair video on those sockets. If anybody tells you, no, you can't do that, it's going to ruin the tool and all that. I will tell you what Terry will tell you. Out there in Indiana, uh, when you watch Terrell fix his all, him and his boy, kiss off because I did machining, I did welding, I know what the hell I'm doing. If I thought it was going to hurt the tool, I would have never did it. I would have sent them back. But I need those for my damn car to get the damn brake drums off to get my brakes. Because the damn wheel bearings and the brake drums are all hooked together. And I got to get that big axle nut off to get the damn drum off after you remove the wheel and the dust cap. And I don't want to have a damn wrench, ratchet, not flush. I want to seat it all the way because there's a lot of torque and a lot of leverage. And do you think I want that damn breaker bar to slip with a pipe and crack somebody's knuckles or nuts or whatever? I don't think so. I risk it taking a little bit of pain off, and if they ever go bad, I ain't worried I can buy another set. They ain't all that damn much, only about 30 bucks. I don't think they're going to go bad that quick. That's the first modification I ever had to do to sockets or a wrench ever since I've had them. But I hope you like this video. Comment, subscribe. I see you now where I got 105 subscribers. Please keep it up. I will do the bed video tonight. I'm going to uh, end this video here in a few. I got to go get my cigarettes. I'm updating my wife's window right now. I'm putting new Windows 10 in her computer um, because it wasn't update. So, mom said she's home. Yeah, I know she's home. I heard the car. Um, Because my mom got home late tonight is because her friend she had to take home, had to eat supper because she's a diabetic. And they ordered, I guess, a couple subs from a cheap place around here and that's why she was home late because my mom brought a little bit of hers home to munch on for later in case her sugar dropped but rick you're gonna catch this video later i know you wasn't on hopefully you'll be on live tonight with the bed but i probably won't call you tonight rick is because i want to spend time with lacy and watch a few movies tonight and i'm working on my wife's laptop but anyhow, thanks for watching. Thanks for the 105 subscribers. I do appreciate that. I had to use my laptop again. Sorry, because Streamlabs on my damn phone ain't working right. And I don't know why. I uninstalled it, reinstalled it, and it's still doing the same shit. So that's why I'm on my laptop. But anyhow, thanks for watching. Take care. Check yourself out some of them little screwdrivers. You can buy them on eBay. Not all that much. Um... If you have a set of sockets like what I've got and they don't work, you know now how to repair them the honest, true way. Uh, for a few of them, I didn't have to turn the speed up too high. And a couple of them, I had almost maxed the speed out down there at about a six, almost a seven to get that to grind down really good. But other than that, thanks for watching. Take care. Peace out. See you on the flip side. Love y'all. Love you, Lacey. Sorry, Rick. You're going to catch the video on the flip side. You're probably busy with Reggie or God knows who. But thanks a lot. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.